Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome back to another live stream Simulator 2018. It's been a long time since I played this, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of jump in and uh, do another stream. Just the other day, they had the um, the Steam Workshop go live, so now it makes it a lot easier to try to download uh, download mods and stuff. So we've uh, we've snagged a mod car here. This one is the uh, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. It's kind of a cool looking little hot rod car. Uh, it's not in the best of shape right now. I did a little tweak and made it available in the junkyard and then went out and found one so we could have it for the stream. Uh, I think when we're done, this will look really awesome, but at the moment, it's uh, it's in pretty rough shape. We're getting a fairly decent collection of cars out in our garage, some of which I still have yet to uh, I still have yet to work on. I'm up to three levels now. Level level zero, which I don't know why they give you that, but uh, three levels worth of cars, and we've got uh, maybe only half of these I think I've actually gone through and, and fixed up. I even found a, another Jeep that's a civilian one uh, that I might tackle as well. So we'll see how this goes. Tonight we're going to stream for about two hours. Uh, normally try to stream until about uh, midnight Eastern time. And then at that point, uh, if depending on where we are through the, uh, through the build, this might go relatively quickly. I've kind of gotten it down so I can no normally tackle these things in about an hour. Maybe we'll do a second vehicle as well. We might head out to the junkyard and kind of poke around and see what we can find. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat. Thanks so much for uh, for coming out to hang out for the stream. Um, I, as I as I mentioned a couple times this week, I am actually streaming pretty much all week this week. So tonight is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Tomorrow night we're going to play some Don't Starve together, and then on Friday, uh, I'm still working on what I'm going to actually play. I'm not sure yet. Probably something with Kazi. Might be some more Fortnite. We'll see. Um, kind of toying with maybe playing a game called Human Fall Flat, which is kind of neat. Let's get this build underway. Uh, did they do a beetle yet? I don't know. So let me show you the Steam Workshop if you're not familiar with it. Uh, if I can actually get this thing open. I wish the music would continue playing when you jump out of here. But um, So they have the Steam Workshop. And in here there are something like 90 different cars that are that are set up in here. And it's really easy to get them in the game. You pretty much just uh, you click on the car itself and then you choose subscribe and it adds it. But uh, I don't think there's a... I don't recall seeing a Volkswagen Beetle anyway. Uh well, I'll keep an eye out for it, though. If, there is, if, I, if they do happen to add one, then I'll be sure to jump in there and try it out, because I think that would be neat. Yeah, no double stream this time. I only have one of them scheduled on the channel right now. <laughs> the issue I had was that I, I did a reusable stream key, and um, what it did was it both of the streams had the same key, so when I started up the stream, it fed it to both places, but I don't know. I'm actually getting a little notice that says that, from YouTube that says the... Uh, the stream quality is not coming through all that great. So if you're having issues in YouTube, if you can maybe let me know, that would be good. Yeah, Human Fall Flat. It is a it is a really funny looking game. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's start stripping this all down. I think we'll take all the all the fancy body parts off this thing first. While it's sitting on the ground, I don't know how much body's left on this actually. Is there even a bumper? Oh, we got a tailgate. Trunk. All right, so the trunk's like a little tailgate thing. Man, that's one ugly looking thing right now. This car, the way the mod is set up, is not actually supposed to be available in the junkyard. It's supposed to be only available in, like, barns and the salon. Um, but I wanted to get it in the junkyard, so I just made a little tweak. Good old rust bucket. Should look great when it's all finished, though. All right. Uh, I think we'll get under... Well, let's... Hold on. Grab about some what we can from the front of the engine here. Now, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's a brake servo in this one. Not that I've seen, anyway. Starters are already out of this, so we'll have to get underneath it. We'll get all the suspension and everything ripped off. Thanks, Irish Lass. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Yeah, they have been doing really well. This week in particular, it's just been going crazy, actually. Some of the videos that I did a long time ago in the summer have really been blowing up lately. Last few days, it's just been growing like crazy. I think today we're already up to... Uh, Almost 300 new subscribers today, which is just crazy. Crazy. I kind of like playing this game on stream. It's nice to be able to just sort of chill out and... There's not a whole lot to pay attention to when I'm doing the rebuild. I'm just sort of pulling all the pieces apart. Uh oh, you're tired. That's not good. No yawning in stream. That's my job. Hi, Josh Rack. How are you? Now, I did try to use, um, 
I tried to use the livery for this when I was doing a screenshot in the, the car gallery. And it wasn't letting me put on the, the livery for this. I think there might be a small issue there. I'm hoping it was just something that had to do with the car gallery and it won't have won't have an impact on our build. Because this just wasn't going to look quite right if we can't get that cool, like, the cool, cool flame look going on. Just get all this stripped down. This will take no time at all to rip this all apart. Oop, there's a little bearing. I'm looking forward to getting this out on the road and peeling around with it a little bit. Almost done. Our steering rod out of here. I think, I mean, basically on the way this one's set up, I might actually have fewer parts than almost any other car I've had to rebuild in here. The whole front end looks just empty. Been waiting for you to stream this for a while now. Thank you for streaming. My pleasure. I have fun with this. I've said before, I enjoy doing streams of this this game in particular just because it's sort of sort of relaxed. I don't have to really pay a ton of attention to the game. I'm just sort of pulling stuff off. Gives me a chance to sort of chat with people while you're all hanging out here. Which is kind of the best part of streaming is that whole interactive piece, I think. I have watched streams where it seems like you're just watching a pre-recorded video because the person doesn't really interact with you at all, and it kind of defeats the purpose of streaming to my mind. When's it starting? It already started. Don't forget the performance parts. Yeah, I'll have to see if this car has performance parts that will go in it. I'm not sure what what the deal will be with the modded cars. But we'll certainly take a look for those. We might even put this on the dyno. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but... Uh, no, wait. I can't get the battery from down here. Hope everyone's looking forward to a little bit of turkey tomorrow. Some football. Here in Canada, we of course already had our Thanksgiving ours was in, in October. But I should make a turkey anyway. Shouldn't have to wait for a holiday for turkey. Start looking at your channel. You've uh, super have done a good job. Well, thanks, Caleb. I appreciate that. And welcome to the channel. Hey man, I love your channel. Mostly the series. I love the cars and working on them. I really enjoy watching you play Keep It Up. Thanks, Nova. Like I said, this is uh, this is kind of a fun little game. You know, when I when I bought this game in the summer, I, I didn't really think I don't know. I didn't really think it would be all that popular. I just thought it would be neat because I wanted to play it. Just thought it looked kind of novel, but it's actually been surprisingly popular. There's a lot of people that are kind of into this, uh, the whole simulator sort of thing, tearing stuff apart. I guess this game, though, it has a few, like, it's had some earlier versions of it that I had a following also. Hello in Minnesota. Yeah, our uh, our Thanksgiving's in early October. It doesn't really bear any any kind of crazy resemblance to the, to the U.S. Thanksgiving, except that we have turkey. <laughs> I, think, I think in the U.S., Thanksgiving, though, has a lot more meaning than it does here. We just do it because we're all fat Canadians that like to eat. It is relaxing, actually, yeah. It's nice, because you can just, you just sort of chill out, pull the... There's nothing frantic about it. The only thing I do wish is that there was more you could do with it once you've rebuilt the car. So you go through all the trouble of ripping everything apart, and then you can take it out to the tracks, and there's, like, three different tracks you can race on, although one of them is, like, a, an off-road dirt track, which... But we could try taking this on. I, I don't know what that would look like. We might not even get over the bumps and stuff. Um... But there's no like, uh, there's no computer cars or anything to race against. It's not multiplayer, so you can't you can't race against other players, which would be kind of cool. Okay, I think we're ready to take we're ready to take out the engine. Actually, we'll get the gearbox off. There we go. Get that all ripped out. It's a weird rust pattern on this one. It's very uh, very consistent. I guess maybe because it's a mod. I'll go over this down. I gotta get the battery out, and we'll bring over the engine crane and lift up the engine. Can you build a Chevy Camaro in tribute to Stepdad who passed away in May? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Caleb. Uh, I do have a Camaro in the garage, actually. We just haven't rebuilt it yet. How do I get? So the battery is inside this box. How do I get it out of there? 
Hold on. Can I look in the engine compartment and then get to it? Accessible from the engine bay, but I was in the engine bay. Um, this might prove tricky. There we go. <laughs> now we got it. Weirdest way to take a, take a battery out ever. Uh, okay, we need the engine crane. Get this over here. Do engine swap. You know, I don't know. It, it seems like the game is set up so that you have very specific engines you can put in the car. Uh, let's put the battery on the charger here. It would be neat if you could really swap stuff around. Uh, more so, like, if you could put an engine that has no business being in the car you're building. Like, if I could get my hands on, like, a little Volkswagen bug and then put, like, a big V8 engine in it or something, I think that would be funny. Hi, Irish lad. So this, um, this one here, we're going to rip out the engine and rebuild it, but I, I don't think you can actually swap the engines. Like, you couldn't put, like, a different one in here, I don't think. Uh, Alright, right, let's see if we can get this out of here. There we go. Nice. Isn't that looking snazzy? <laughs> How'd you like to have that in your program in your garage? Let's get the body a quick weld. We'll get this all fixed up. Uh, see, now it's looking a little nicer. Clean up the interior, or suddenly it'll start looking like a real car. Alright, we can get rid of this now. We'll get rid of our welder, too. There we go. There's the body. Looks a little nicer without the uh, without the rust and stuff on it. I love the gear shifts in here. Big skull one there. Little skull one down the bottom. Hard to see from here. Uh, let's get into the interior and pull the steering wheel out. Nope, come on. There we go. Oops. All right, we've got it all stripped down. Oh, wait a minute. I bet you these taillights come off. They look a little rusted. Yeah. That looks more reasonable. Looking nice already, actually. I wish you could rebuild a bus. There's a bus in the junkyard. It would be amazing to bring back. But uh, it doesn't seem like you can. I have no idea whether there's any intention to, for them to even put one, like uh, the ability to do that in there. There's a couple a couple things in there I'd like to do, though. Like, even there's um, like a transport truck and stuff. I think it would be cool. What the? Okay. Let's get this all ripped up. Man, there's going to be a lot to take off of this. I think most of the engine parts are on this thing. That's lucky. Just trip it out of here. Air filters. Four bell carbs. So we should be able to swap those out with performance parts. There are carburetors in the performance parts shop. Uh, I'm working on a mod here. This one is the uh, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. So it's uh, the one that's actually featured in the thumbnail for the stream. Looks pretty cool. It's kind of a neat novel little, uh, not little hot rod car. Should do f do the twin mill mod. The only issue is the steering rack is in the fuel tank. The twin mill. I should try that out. There's quite a few mods already. I mean, there's like 90 of them. It's crazy. Uh, get the push rods. There we go. Shout out to Cryptic. My friend is in the hospital after a car accident, and your CMS gameplay is getting us through the night. Cheers, man. Oh, Neil, I'm sorry to hear your friend's in the hospital. Hope he's doing all right. Nothing's too serious. Glad we could provide some entertainment. And thank you for coming to hang out for the stream, too. Hi, Darren. Does the twin mill have two engines? I have no idea. I wouldn't think so. I think probably the most tedious part of taking the, the engines or the cars apart is the engine. It's fun to rebuild them all, but like taking all the little parts out is kind of a nuisance. Sometimes it's actually fun to get them from the junkyard because there's this like almost nothing you have to take apart usually. I end up with engines that are nothing but a block. A block and a crankshaft or something. Haha, <laughs> says it in name. Takes a small thing sometimes. That can go to the twin mills of Hot Wheels with two engines set side to side. Oh, neat. I have no idea then. That may be worth taking a look at. 
I'm pretty sure there's one in the uh, in the Steam Workshop there. I, I saw. Uh, camshaft can come out. All right, I think we're ready to flip this over so we can get the pistons, and the crankshaft, and everything out of here. There we go. Perfect. What was my favorite build? Um, that's a good question. I think probably the Shelby Cobra, in part because when we took it out to the track, uh, we had an interesting crash on the track, and we flew right off of the track, and we got to drive around in the world outside of the racetrack, which I don't think you're supposed to be able to do, but was really entertaining. It was a crazy crash, too. The car just flew through the air. It was great. So I think probably that rebuild is my favorite. It's also just a cool little car. I'm trying to find motor parts in the junkyard to put my car boom my fan. I try to find motor part in the junkyard, put in put it in my car, boom my fan flow at me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having trouble reading that. I think you might have missed a few words. I thought of at one point about trying to hunt through the junkyard to find all the parts for a build. And then seeing what we can do to fix as many of them as possible. No, oh, wait a minute. I gotta get all this off of here. Uh, it's so funny you can take the whole clutch assembly and everything off of here. It's sticking through the stand. This all should have come off before I took it out of the car. <laughs> Alright, flywheel's off, so now we can get the crankshaft out. There we go. Down to the block. That's it. She's in pieces now. Are there Teku car mod from Hot Wheels? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, there's only about 90 mods so far. There's quite a variety of stuff. Hold on a second. This is going to be really loud if I don't turn it down. There we go. So many parts to repair. Ooh, we got to work on Thanksgiving. That stinks. Rest in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm thinking they should really have a fix all button. <laughs> Instead of letting me click this thing 3,000 times, it'd be great if they had that. There we go. Alright, we got through all the parts. It looked like we fixed a, a number of them up. I did hear some of them break, though, for sure. So, we'll see how it goes. Get our block back in here. Looking nice and pretty. Crankshaft. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's check out what, what performance parts we have in here. Probably a good idea to get a sense of what we might be able to get. Because I'm pretty sure the crankshaft is something we can get. Well, the camshafts are. I think it might be a plain camshaft. The four-barrel carburetor, I believe, is what we had on here. So we'll grab two of these. Uh, we'll get some performance clutch parts. Uh, the engine heads I can probably do. I just have to make sure which ones I need. Performance flywheel. Fuel filter. Fuel pump. Although I have no idea where the gas tank is just yet. Distributor. We'll grab that. Uh, distributor cap we're going to need. We'll get the rotor. We probably need wires, but I'm not sure which. Intake manifold, two carb. I'm pretty sure we need one of those. That was a fancy shopping trip. Piston with Conrad. We'll grab... Um, this is an eight-cylinder. So we need eight of those. Noma came with a factory motor. I tried to start it. The motor blew up. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would bite. Click spam sand later. That's right. It really kind of is. Like, it's it's actually a little bit ridiculous. Uh, throttle, turbocharger. I think that's most of the parts. So there's no crankshaft in here, necessarily. Well, alternator we'll need, so I might as well grab one of those. All right, I'm gonna have to wait and see what, what the uh, the head is that I'm gonna need for this. In the meantime, we got a crankshaft we can put in. And ooh, I need piston rings actually. There are no performance pistons rings, just the regular ones. Oh, I bet you started to cry. I would too. Hauling a brand new car, engine goes boom. Yeah. Yeah, I would guess so. Uh, what else do we need? We need rod caps. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna need the bearings. All right, they'll get us started down here at least. Oh, a new motor. That's see, like, was it not like covered under warranty of some kind? <laughs> if you just got it, I feel like it should not blow up. Like, minimum part specification should be like doesn't blow up. If it doesn't meet that specification, there's got to be something wrong. Oh, I had extra bearings here already. I have all these crankshaft bearings I have. Crankshaft bearings for days. Uh, I did not know that. Ray, you know, that is a little messed up message, isn't it? This is the full version. They're they're continuing to add stuff to it. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how much they intend to continue adding. I have like three of the DLC things for it: the uh, the Mazda, the Dodge, and the Jeep. And they've kind of been adding adding stuff to this over time and making uh, making tweaks to improve game performance, adding more content, that kind of stuff. So I don't know if this is like the I don't think it's the final final version yet. But it's not like a demo. If that's what you're asking. Found the joke error, the Nova are rare. Oh yeah. Well, that stinks. Love this fake radio station. Just blasting the tunes. Okay, so this will get all of our pistons in now. We got all our bearings in, rod caps, oil pan. I mean, I don't imagine there's a performance oil pan. That would be silly. Actually, what, what oil pan do I need for this? V8 overhead valve. Uh oh, I think I bought some of the wrong parts. <laughs> Power steering pump. No, oh, there's our alternator. So we have our performance alternator we can use. That looks fancy. Uh, we have our. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get the ignition coil. That's a performance part too. Took you months to build the motor, yeah. You're talking in real life, right? Like, not in the game. <laughs> I'm assuming. Put quad turbos on a car. I, I don't even know that you can make a lot of modifications to the cars yet. Seems to be relatively limited. Uh, there's our ignition coil. We'll grab that. Pretty sure I'm going to need spark plug wires and stuff for this, too. I don't know. Throttle... No. Okay. Let's grab the uh, grab the oil pan. Ah, that emoji's cool. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Uh, uh, what's my favorite car? Do you mean like in real life kind of thing, or are you talking like in the game? Because in real life, oddly enough, I think I'm uh, impartial to like the 1950s Corvette. In the game, honestly, I don't know. Uh, like I said, the Shelby was a lot of fun to do. All right, I need an oil pan. Oil pan. The game is, is it's a little bit limited in terms of its flexibility. There's only so much you can do in it. Um, so we need V8 overhead valve filter, and then there should be an, an oil pan here too. Yeah, there we go. Got some lag. It's not good, I don't know what the deal is. No lag for you, okay, that's good. I don't know. I keep getting notices from uh, from from YouTube saying the the quality of what's coming through is low, and I'm wondering if maybe it's because I run it through Restream because I have really strong internet. I think it's like 250 down and 20 or 30 up, so it should be fine for something like this. Okay, we got all the bottom side of this thing put together. Let's put this over. Start working on the top a little bit. If I can actually select this, come on. Let me click on the handle. It's right there. It's right there. Okay, that that, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Let me click on the handle. I can't click on the, the, the stand. There we go. Man. This game's out to get me. Why no emoji hype? Uh, we have some emojis. There's some custom emojis in there, too. So if you're if you're currently a, a sponsor on the channel, there are five custom emojis that you have access to. 
uh, engine V8 overhead valve uh, that everyone else doesn't have. Which I think is kind of neat. They're kind of going the route of uh, uh, Twitch there on on YouTube as well. All right, so there were some engine heads in the performance parts. So I'm going to grab those. Let's see. Body tuning shop. Ooh. I doubt there's any parts in there for this because it's a custom job, but... Let's see. Engine head, V8, overhead valve. We need two of these. What is this game? You build a car? Yeah. This is uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So there's actually... Uh, that is not the one I want. That's the one I want. So there's kind of two parts of the game. There's sort of a story basis to it. Well, not really even a story. It's more like a career kind of thing where you're running your own your own shop and you bring in customer vehicles and I just put the wrong one on there. That's what I want. You bring in customer vehicles and you do work. And you kind of level up and you unlock things and you expand your shop and make it bigger until you get to the point where you can go to the to barns and the junkyards and find some... Um, Find some vehicles of your own that you can then bring in and renovate and, and you can sell them or keep them in the garage or whatever. Pretty much all the ones I have are in the garage now, but... Oh, power steering pump. I did have a performance one in here. Let's grab that. We need spark plugs, too. Oops. Not nine of them. Unless I plan to break one. Thanks, EJ Bremer. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. It's always nice when, when people say they like it. It's, uh... It's one of those things where I, I make a lot of stuff and I'm never positive how it's going to be received until it's out there, and so far it's been really great. Is it just your stream that stopped? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, I'm showing a good stream strength. I don't know. Seems like it's still streaming. Okay, V8 overhead valve. Oh, I didn't grab the right one, drat. All right, so I spent money on a performance overhead valve part, and it wasn't even the right one. Uh... Oh, I got a cough. Hold on. Sorry about that. You watch your videos and working on your car. That's cool. Just uh, don't take any lessons from what I do on the car in here, because frankly, I'm incompetent. <laughs> Take manifold. No, wait. What am I looking for here? Supercharger intake manifold. Oh, that's why it's... Uh... I don't think there's a performance part for that. I think I might be stuck just getting the basics. Yeah. And it didn't repair, unfortunately. All right, uh, this is the one we want right here. Yeah, I mean, it strikes me a little bit weird that the the uh, supercharger doesn't have the performance bar, but whatever. Uh, did I fix this? No, I didn't. Of course not. Uh, supercharger water pump pulley. We're probably going to need that. And this belt. There we go. Need to give an indication of how many or show you what you have in the inventory when you go to buy items. It would be kind of nice sometimes, yeah. There's kind of a lot about the whole store system on this that's a little bit frustrating. I wish it was easier to make a shopping list. You can build one, but it's you, you kind of got to go through a little... Sort of jump through hoops to make it happen. It's a lot of clicking just to get parts added to your shopping list. And then it's not even like you can go in there and just... Oh, uh, that I hit the wrong one. It's not like you can go in there and just say, buy everything on my shopping list. You've got to individually look them all up. And Okay. It wasn't spinning. It was a power emoji from Warwitch and whoop whoop from Black Badge. Yeah, there's actually... That's a really cool emoji. So, the thing I like about... Um, um, the thing I like about the emojis in Twitch is that you can string multiples of them together and it makes a bigger picture. There's a couple good ones like that. Scoop filter, V8 overhead valve. This I don't have. <clears throat> oh, you have this all wheel, do you? That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, my throat's uh, throat's not holding out so well this week. Hope I'm not getting sick. That'd be terrible. Uh, all right, I need air filters. Uh, I think it was a scoop filter, right? Yeah. Two of these. 
What PC do you recommend? You mean just in general or for this game? Because this game is kind of a performance pig. It takes a lot. Air scoop? Do we have... No. There are no items to work with. All right. So clearly we have to buy that. Um, we don't have engine head covers, but I haven't gotten my uh, my valve push rods yet. Or the rockers, actually. Uh, I think it's just these. Need 16 of these. And we need 16 rockers, too. Because I don't think they're repairable. I could be wrong. I don't think so, though. For the game, um... I actually, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm only playing this on uh, medium level graphics, I think. I can't really run it at high end graphics because it's just too sluggish. Uh, and I know a lot of people have said that even though they had a high end machine, they uh, they can't play it at the maximum graphics level because it's, it's not well optimized yet. So honestly, I'm not sure. I'm playing on a, this is an i7-6700. Uh, I use the, uh, it's an HP Omen computer. And it seems to run it pretty well. I just can't run it on the, the maximum graphics level is all. Do I want to play Fortnite later? I think I'm actually going to be uh, joining Kazi's stream after this. He's going to be streaming some Fortnite tonight. We might play some duos. Uh, not 100% sure yet, though. I'm going to play more Gold Rush. Really enjoy watching that. Uh, soon. Trademarked. <laughs> I actually I need to do a little a little bit of work in between videos to earn some gold because I need to buy uh, I need to buy a plot of land so that I can get a loan big enough to let me buy my tier three wash plant stuff. I guess you have to have you have to have a certain amount like own property and stuff to to expand the amount that you're allowed to take out in loans. And right now I don't have enough to buy the parts that I need for the tier three wash plant. Have a good Thanksgiving. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Evan Stout. You have a good Thanksgiving as well. I'm gonna spend it working because it's not it's not really Thanksgiving in Canada, but I do appreciate the sentiment. What level am I in Fortnite? Uh, I think I'm level 38 or 39, something like that. Possibly, I'd have to check. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm having a real drought in solo wins though. It's killing me. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. I keep getting down to number two. And then I'm getting bumped out by something silly. Have a good night, Brayden. Thanks for coming to the stream. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the channel. Always dipping. That's an interesting name. <laughs> All right, uh, engine head covers. I don't know that there are performance parts for that, but we'll take a, we'll take a little peek. There might be. Mm, no, there's not. Oops, I didn't mean to leave the store altogether. Oh, no. Uh, now I'm just doing everything wrong. There we go. Alright, so we need engine head covers. This is the V8 overhead valve. Uh, Alright, I should probably double check because it looks like there's a couple of options here. Oh, just a regular... Oh, overhead cover... Just V8 overhead valve. Okay, we're good. Well, welcome to the channel, Elver Vilis. Vilis? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay. That's a D. Man, these guys are going to make me actually hunt for this stuff. All right, there's cover B. B it overhead valve. There we go. We need cover A now, which is right here. There we go. Man, that was almost like work. I kind of wish these were all chromed out. It look a little bit shinier. Can you friend me on Xbox Gamer Ticket? So, if you're interested in uh, if you're interested in being on my friends list on Xbox One, um, asking me on here isn't going to help because I, I don't I don't record lists of everything. Um, so you're better off just to add me on Xbox One, and then I'll add you back when I get the opportunity. But I. I, I I don't have time to like write out lists and try to add people constantly. It's too much. Too much and too many people. Camshaft V8 overhead valve. So I bought a performance camshaft, I think, and I think I bought the wrong one. Uh, where are we here? There. This is the one I need. Yeah. 
So I spent like $600 on a camp chef that I don't need. Good thing I have lots of cash. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this gear probably did not get fixed. No, they never do. Yeah, <laughs> it would be nice if they went on that fast, wouldn't it? Or even more importantly, it would be nice if the bolts came off that easy and that fast. Oh, there's no trouble with asking. Just um, you just have to um, hook me like uh, connect with me on Xbox. Um, during a stream isn't it's not really the best opportunity. Okay, what was I looking for now? It was a gear of some sort, or cam gear. <laughs> I gotta remember like a sieve. Like I can remember my own name. Okay, well, this one. Play Dark Souls. Oh man, I haven't played that in a while. We need to get in and play that some more. Time machine. Oh, we didn't buy one. All right, here's a question. Is there a performance timing chain? That would be weird. Nope. Nope, definitely not. Oh, I did the, did the wrong button again. Yeah, that emoji is cool. I like that. There's also one that's like a like an octopus thing. It's, I guess if... Uh, I don't know. Does that come through on the... Oh, it does, actually. <laughs> I couldn't tell whether it was going to come through on the uh, on the stream or not because some of the emojis in YouTube don't. Yeah, I don't have a PlayStation. Maybe one day. Oh, I forgot what I was doing again. Told you. Remember, like a sieve. Oh yeah, the timing chain. Gosh, so easily distracted. Uh, yep, timing chian. Yeah, that one, the like uh, octopus tentacles. And there's one that's like the body portion in the middle, too, I think. You have a question. Fire away. 9999999 mods. Time to cover V and over valve. There we go. All right, we got that on. I Crankshaft pulley, did I grab it? No, I didn't. How about that? Water pump, did we fix it? We did, nice. Speaking of Xbox, yours broke. Oh, that stinks. It's never good when they just flat out break. Okay, now here's the thing. I always forget the clip B, so I'm gonna remember to do it right now before I forget. I think on almost every car I've redone, I forgot to put the clips on the distributor cap. Well, where it had a distributor cap, anyway. Uh, we're going to need crankshaft pulley, I think. Did I not have a performance part for that? I thought I did. Crankshaft pulley V8. This is, no, no, this is definitely not what I do for a living. This is just a hobby for me. Something I enjoy doing, but uh, not something that uh, that pays the bills at this point. Not that it would be entertaining sometimes to, to think about that, but uh, no, I'm not anywhere near that, that kind of a position. Get a planning book and look up part before you start a live stream. Uh, yeah, I could do that, but I don't know. I mean, the whole thing of these types, these types of streams, it's just chill anyway. I'm not trying to race through the build. And the issue is less about... Uh, Less about having a planning book and more just about the fact that I look up the part and then I forget what I'm doing because I'm busy reading the chat and then trying to pay attention to the game. And Do I have an upload schedule? If you do, can you tell us? Uh, no, that is a prime opportunity for me. I don't have an upload schedule. I really should have one. Uh, for the most part, I just try to fit in the recordings as much as I can. And I, I, so, no, I don't. I really need to get one, though. Makes it a lot more consistent and easier for people to connect when uh, when they know when the, the videos are coming out. Right, so I need ignition wires V8 and serpentine belts B. Uh, there we go. Ignition. There we go. Perfect. Engine should be nearly finished at this point. Yeah, I'm playing this on PC. It's not out on... Uh, ooh, the power steering pump. I need to take that off because I had a performance part for that. Uh, it's not out on console yet, although the, it is supposed to come out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I believe. Uh, I just have no idea when. 
Oh, I need another belt. Oh, the Serpentine belt A. I guess that makes sense. What's the grab? Oh, yeah, the ignition wires. That's what I grabbed while I was in there. There we go. Oh, I fixed those. Really? How did I repair ignition wires? Do you have any advice for someone starting out as a YouTuber or trying to be one? Um, you know, I, I think the, the, the best piece of advice I could give you is just to start. I mean, so many people say that they want to do it, but they never quite get around to starting it. Um, and then when they do start, they're expecting explosive returns right off the bat. Um, and that's just not very realistic. It's, it, that'd be like winning the lottery if, if that happened for you. So, you know, just... Um, there we go, grab this. Uh, just start making videos. Worry about... Oh, you're right. I, <laughs> I bought the clips and I didn't put them on. <laughs> I'm telling you, every time I forget those clips. Every time. Uh, just start making videos and uh, and put them out. The, f the first ones you make will probably not be very good because that's the way it is for everybody. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to practice and the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's like just for it, at the point of starting out. I mean, that's that's probably the best advice I can give you is just just start. Most people just fail to start. All right, radar fan, V8 overhead valve. Grab that. How long do you think you're gonna keep uh, the Gold Rush series alive? Because it's your favorite game. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, as long as it's fun to play. Um, I'm trying to get to a point now where I can buy uh, another claim so that I'm not working on the one that I'm on. Uh, and then... I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. As long as it's fun, I'm going to keep playing it. As long as people are interested, ultimately. Because if I'm uploading the videos and nobody's watching them, then there's not much point in uploading them. So I guess that's about how long we'll do it. As long as it's fun and people watch it. Uh, wow, look at all the clutch release bearings I have. I need to clear up my inventory. Fix the wires through the power of clicking a bunch of times. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's magic. I've got the magic touch. It also could have been that I just happened to have a spare set in there already. I might have had the wires just sitting in my inventory, because I've got a lot of junk in my inventory right now. Yeah, it takes it takes a while. So this channel I've been working uh, I've been working at for about three years. Now initially it was just something I did very, very randomly. I wasn't doing I wasn't doing very much content. I wasn't really focused a lot, and then I started getting focused in Disney Infinity. I kind of went deep into that, and everything I put out was Infinity focused. Uh, and then when they announced that the game was getting canceled, or they weren't, or Disney wasn't going to support it anymore, was it just the V8 I needed, or the V8 overhead valve? I'm just that goes my brain again. V8 overhead valve. Okay. Uh, when they announced that uh, they weren't going to support the game anymore, I started sort of expanding out and branching into a bunch of different games. So this has been about three years. Yeah, I do, I do business things. <laughs> uh, I work on uh, business optimization stuff. So in my normal day-to-day -day job, a lot of what I do is I look at how our company does the business that we do and how we do the work. And I look at uh, different ways to do it. So I try to take apart our tools and processes and look at different ways to do it to get a better result with less effort. Kind of the core of what I do, anyway. What's your favorite series on this channel or your favorite game to play? Definitely Oxygen Not Included at this point. I'm kind of addicted to that game. Uh, second, I would say... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I really enjoy Car Mechanic Simulator, but it's not really like a high... Yeah, lean processes. That's right. Uh, I, I do a lot of lean six, sigma, uh, lean six Sigma work. Um... I mean, I enjoy Car Mechanic Simulator. It's kind of a chill game, but I don't know how exciting I would say it is. So I, the next, the other one I'm kind of addicted to right now is Fortnite. Uh, I need a, this is a scoop I need. There we go. Can you fix your car? <laughs> oh, you definitely don't want me fixing a car in real life. <laughs> you haven't seen the things I've done to the cars in this game. Never mind real life. No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm mediocre when it comes to auto mechanics at best. I took auto shop when I was in high school for like one semester. All right, she's all finished. Man, that looks pretty. Um, so I was able to do like simple things, stuff like uh, oil changes, brake jobs, that kind of stuff. Diagnostics are not my forte. Definitely nothing super complicated either. All right, all right, we got our fancy engine in. Let's get this out of the way. Look at that. That is a nice looking engine, actually. <laughs> a little performance parts on there, some nice chrome. It's looking pretty. 
This thing will be fancy in no time. Uh, Alright, I think we have... Hopefully I fixed the radiator. Ooh, I did. Nice. Okay, let's go grab the battery before I forget to do that. Snag the battery. I still have the stock wires on the engine. Are, th are there performance wires? I didn't even notice. Oh, there are. Thank you. Well, that was silly. Alright, well those are easy enough to get rid of at least. So we can just yank those off. Oh, apparently I'm not in the engine bay. Alright, hold on. Now I'm in the engine bay. There we go. That's what we want. Right there. Now it looks better. Great. Thanks for catching that. Oh, right. The battery. Put that in before I forget. Uh, that goes way at the back here. We boost this up. We'll start getting the undercarriage into this thing. You're one of those YouTubers that never go stale for me because your gameplay is always fun to watch. Well, I appreciate that, Evan. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. My job is to work on motors. Oh, that's cool. I actually... There was a point where I, I was trying to decide whether I was going to do something to work with my hands or do something more academic. Um, I ended up pursuing um, medicine initially. I was in a pre-med course, and I hated it. So I ended up switching to business, which was this really jarring shift for me. Uh, because I hadn't studied anything business-related when I was in high school. So having to make that shift over was interesting. But I liked it because it was more about understanding concepts and principles and then applying them. Whereas uh, all the pre-med stuff for sciences and everything, it's really just a lot of memorization. Which just killed me. Uh, I need bushings. All right. Pushings. I throw a few of these in too. Perfect. You get paid good. Yeah, auto mechanics get paid pretty well. I just had to take my wife's car in to get fixed, so I uh, have a pretty good idea whether they're getting paid. <laughs> Don't forget the oil. That's right. See, now there's somebody who's seen me play the game before. <laughs> I think almost every car I put together, I forgot to put the oil in before I tried to drive it away. Now, unfortunately, the game the game doesn't let you, so it's not like you can damage or anything. Come on. I can't get it. Oh, yeah, this bearing. There we go. I'm pushing. There might be maybe one or two cars in total that I've rebuilt that I actually remembered to, to put the oil in before I tried to drive it. So, you know. Hopefully, I'll remember this time. These little bushings are hidden way back in here. It's kind of a weird setup. The, the actual the cross member goes right through the power steering pump. I bought a performance power steering pump, and what did we do with it? We shoved a cross member straight through the middle of it. <laughs> that was worth the money. Worth every cent. Yeah, they go everywhere. That's right. Good old bushings. Hi, Tyler. My day is well. We're going well. It's good. I don't know. Brain no work. <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> Only 13 and starting as a YouTuber. That's cool. Well, good luck with that. I wish I'd started when I was 13, but back then they didn't have the whole internet thing. Ooh, got lag again. Man, I hope that's your, your internet, not mine. <laughs> lag for all of you. Oh, that's so bad. So YouTube's still showing the feed quality is good. I really wish it was... Uh, more consistent. I honestly think restream might have something to do with it. I, I've, I've been kind of toying with whether whether to keep doing the restreaming or not. To be honest with you, uh, sway Barbie. There we go. Now, if I was smart, I would have bought my tie rods while I was in there because those would never get repaired. There we go. You don't lag. I don't know. You got me then. Might be a restream. Might be your internet. Might be YouTube. Might be just the flat out interwebs. 
It is funny that it doesn't hit everybody at once, though. It's kind of funny. Are you keeping this uh, this stream till you rebuild your the car or not? Oh yeah, this this will be done in a little while. It, a rebuild doesn't really take that long. This is gonna take a little longer than an hour actually this time. I've gotten it down normally so that I can I can power through these in about an hour it takes to do a rebuild. I normally stream for about two hours, so we'll put this one together. We'll take it out to the track and take it for a spin, and then uh, maybe we'll head out to the junkyard and see if we can find. Oh, uh, nope, we don't want that on there. <laughs> uh, let's just get some more brakes. All right, we'll need. Oh, uh, oh yeah, they don't have performance brake pads and stuff, which always strikes me weird in this game. Um, was it drums? No, it's not drums. It's discs. Sorry, I had to think there for a second. Ventilated. Uh, hopefully the calipers are in good shape. Oh, I need bearings too. Uh, wheel hub bearings. Need the wheel hub caps because they never get fixed. There we go. Perfect. What's my favorite YouTuber? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I kind of flipped through a few of them. Um, some of the channels that I really enjoy watching are, are channels like uh, Gray Still Plays. Um, I watch Dragast. Uh, who else do I watch? Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. This is obviously like uh, nothing game related with Gary, but uh, it's just I, I find his stuff are, like really uh, entertaining and inspiring. It's all business related, marketing, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I would say those are the those are the channels I tend to watch. Of course, my buddy Kazi's channel. I check out his stuff. Upper suspension arm. Just yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll put on the rusty rotors for better braking power because it'll just it'll really grab those pads. <laughs> that's right. We'll call it a performance part because it uh, it performs stuff. Uh, Sweater bar front end length. Those did not get fixed. Try watching Diesel Design Gaming. Oh yeah, I've watched some of his also. Uh, he's not someone I watch regularly, but I've, I've seen some of his videos. Sway bar front end length B. All right, two of those. We're good to go. Okay, shocks we're going to have to totally rebuild because there's really nothing you can ever repair on those. Let's get the tie rods on the other side. Actually, oh, we got the whole other side to build. For some reason I thought I had I'd already done this side. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Fortunately, it goes together quickly. Especially since I already bought all the parts. Now we're just slapping it all together. Uh-oh. I didn't even notice. The brake caliper on the other side, was it in good shape or bad? <laughs> oh, you know what? I probably need uh, rear calipers, too. Let's get two more. <laughs> I loved eating subs for dinner. <laughs> oh, I should see a rotor that came into the shop. The wheel fell off, so it was flat. Oh, geez. That would be awful. Awful, awful. I need to check the caliper on the other side, because I actually don't remember. <laughs> I wasn't entirely paying attention when I put it on. And I might have put a I might have put a broken part on there. That's how sharp I am. Like I said, you definitely don't want me fixing your car in real life. Hi hey, Ernest Sally. Glad you like it. This is just a chill stream. I like these. I like streaming this game a little bit because I can kind of hang out and chat with people. It gives me a little more opportunity to follow the chat, so I catch more of what gets said. I still miss stuff, because you know, I'm uh, I'm olympically smart that way. Um, but uh, I, I like it because I can kind of I can catch more of the chat. It gives me a chance to kind of connect with people a little bit. Uh, this caliper, I want to inspect it. Oh, it's good. Okay. For some reason, I thought I might have put a, a crummy caliper on there, but it's good. 
All right, wheels are not ready to go. Shocks are not ready to go. Let's go to the back end here. We'll get this. Start putting the back end of this back on. Drive shafts toast. Toast. Am I gonna play Fortnite on Friday? I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to decide what to play. Like I said, I've kind of been toying a little bit with um, maybe playing Human Fall Flat, but I don't know how well that one will stream. There's a they have a multiplayer variant of it now, which is kind of cool. Hi Adam White, welcome to the channel and thanks for checking out the stream. Appreciate the sub. I don't know. I'll let you know as soon as I know what I'm going to do on Friday. I'll have to I'll have to decide by tomorrow, I think, because I want to get the schedule ahead of time. So tomorrow night is going to be um, Don't Starve Together. We'll be streaming again tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, p.m. Uh, and then Friday, I'll let you know once I decide what I'm going to play. I think I got more calipers. I almost forgot them. Okay, I can't get the angle here. There we go. Come on. Oh, it's all on axle control arms. I need two of those. I appreciate that, Ernest. Glad you liked it enough to subscribe. High distance as well. Uh, so this is the solid control arm, right? Yeah, two of these. Two, two, two. I'll tell you, the, the video that I did for Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, where we found the Dodge Charger in the junkyard and brought it back to the shop, has just been going crazy lately. This week, for some reason, it just exploded a bit. I'm kind of wondering if maybe it got linked somewhere. But for a video that uh, that I put out in August, it's uh, it's really really been driving nuts. Rear spring, I need two of those. They are not fixable, pretty much ever. Oh, you know what? Uh, are there performance parts for the suspension? No, it's all engine and exhaust, I guess. All right. Oops. That's not where I wanted. There we go. Grab two of these. Almost got your butt kicked. Can you do a race? Uh, well, I, I mean, I kind of can. So once I get the car back together, we're definitely going to take it out to the track. That's when Caitlin will hide her eyes, plug her ears. Um... No, it's not rear spring. It's rear shock I want. So we'll take it up to the track and, and kind of tear around a little bit because I want to see how it handles. Uh, but there's not really true racing in this game. Is it shock absorber bees I needed? Yeah. There's not true racing in the game. It would be nice if you really could like drive against the computer players or something. And if there was a track that was set up in a way... You... I did have one of those fixed. What's going on there? Um... If, if you had a track that was set up in a way that you could like pick up a good amount of speed and, and really really race a bit, that would, I think that would be kind of fun. But it's just not something that's in the game. Uh, not the Forge DLC this time around. I think we're just going to play uh, normal Don't Starve Together. I kind of want to try and... I have a, a world, I think, already on the go. I want to continue that one and then uh, try to fight Deer Clops. Because I haven't fought him yet. I think that would be neat. The one time I streamed it, we actually went out, we found the, the big dragonfly boss, and we all went splat really quickly because Deerclops showed up at the same time, and then we convinced Deerclops and the dragonfly boss to fight each other, but we still went splat because, you know, we're good that way. <laughs> so I'd like to uh, I'd like to actually have a proper fight with Deerclops. If we can get him to show up, anyway. Just kind of... Requires me to survive long enough. That whole don't starve thing. I don't know. I seem, I seem to keep starving. Okay. This will just... Aw, oh, really? One cylinder? Come on. There we go. This just about finishes off the back end now, too. So we're ready for wishbone shocks at the front. So we need to, we need to make some double wishbone shocks. We're gonna have to work on the tires here. Uh, I might as well just buy the parts. There's nothing fixable in the shocks. All right, double wishbone shocks front. These are gonna need springs. No, not that. That one. 
You know what? I forgot the leaf spring plate on one side. <laughs> that might be slightly important. Uh, where are we here? There we go. Oh, we're gonna need one of these U-bolts too. There we go. Now we've got the back end all together. I'm the kind of auto mechanic who likes to have spare parts left over when I'm finished. <laughs> Just try Battlefront. Ah, uh, so yeah, the whole Battlefront thing. I uh, I've been under a little undecided whether I want to buy it. I mean, not that the game doesn't look cool at all, um, but I'm just not really fond of EA's practices, and that kind of makes me think I don't know whether I want to support them. It does look really cool. I, I think I think the big shame about that is they they designed and and created this game that just looks phenomenal, and then. It's being completely overshadowed by the drama around uh, how they decided to have the microtransactions that they built into it. It really kind of stinks. Sorry, I missed the only stream last night. Glad my dupe is still alive. Well, I think he's still alive. <laughs> we we had a we've had a few deaths. I think Superwoman was the only one that died last night. Shh, nobody tell her. Um, but I think we're up to four deaths in that colony already, which isn't the best for me. Let's grab this. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to paint the car. I'm hoping the livery is working. Because like I said I said earlier, I, I went into the... Um, uh, there's like a... When you first log in on the main menu, there's a thing where you can go and you can see all the cars. And I tried to... I, I picked this car and tried to choose the, the livery for it in there. And it wasn't letting me pick anything in. So I'm hoping it's going to work. If not, we'll just have to paint it black for now. And then I'll have to figure out how to get that working. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not a big fan of EA. I mean, I get it. I They're a business, ultimately. And they want to make money. But I, I think there's a point where it's just it gets to be a little bit ridiculous. Uh, how do I get to my inventory again? I haven't gone in there forever. Well, there we go. Got so much junk in there. It takes a while to open now. Uh, really? I had oh, I bought all these parts. I really I should look at my inventory before I start doing stuff. <laughs> I, I already had it all. <laughs> gotta, gotta just open up in here. I had shocks. Okay, so these are rim retros eleven. I can fix those probably. Sport tires. I'm just gonna jot a note down for these because again, my brain's like a sieve. <laughs> the airlock of death. It works. It just. Unfortunately, it has a small side effect associated with it in that sometimes the duplicates going through the airlock end up dead. <laughs> it's just a minor, a minor, minor little side effect. It's not, it's not even anything to worry about. It only happens like no more than 60% of the time. <laughs> I do like that the airlock works. It just, uh,. I don't know. I, I I think I said before, like it's it's like a high energy way of doing something you can do with just a little a little d depression that has some gases trapped in it. But can you paint it reddish with a pearlescent of orange? No, you you pretty much only have like solid colors and stuff. So you choose a color and that's what goes on it. Unless you use um, oh wait, I gotta get tires. Unless you use uh, the livery to kind of give it a different look. All right, tires. We need. Uh, were they race tires or sport tires? Now I don't even remember. I wrote down the size I needed, but didn't pay attention to the type. Too much talking. Sport tires. There we are. Man. Rat Ronnie, get the body part from the junkyard and paint it all one color, but keep the rust. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we need size 20. This will be 325. And profile 45. I need four of those. $3,960. That's a serious chunk of change for tires. What's my favorite color? Uh, I don't even know. Don't even know. Um, I don't know. Green, blue. I don't know. Beats me. I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite. I just kind of do my thing.
So in my defense with that whole airlock thing, there were a number of people as soon as the update came out that were designing death machines. I just arrived there sort of spontaneously. I didn't I didn't set out to do that. <laughs> oh, they're smaller for the front. Uh, you know, with my luck, they probably are. Hold on. 20 inch, 20 inch. Where's the other ones I put on? No, I don't want to sell it. Um, I wish it would tell you the size of the rims and stuff that are in here. Actually, I can tell just by checking the rubber, actually. That'll tell me. 325, 325, 250s. Uh. All right, there's still 20s at least, so I'm going to have to get some different rubber. <laughs> I just wasted a bunch of money. Ugh. All right. So we need uh, 250, 35, R20s. Thanks for catching that, by the way. I mean, it would have let me put the tires on. They just would have looked maybe a little bit silly. 250, 35, R20s uh, in the sport tire. Oops. Oops, 255, there we go. Uh, 35. Perfect. <laughs> Another $1,400. I have extra tires now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's our rim. We want the 255s. There we go. Man. Attention to detail. Not my forte tonight. See if you can use slicks. You probably can. I mean, you can put any tires on. It seems to be the only the only part of the, of the game that's like super customizable that way. You can choose whatever you want to. Did I only have three rims? What's going on? Or did I put three of the tires together already? One of the rims I guess I didn't fix. No, it's busted. Rim Retro 11, 20 inch. Rim Retro 11. There we go. 20 inch. Perfect. People are trying to tell me what to do. I mess you their motor so they come back for more money. Oh, that's not good. I think you just committed to a crime, actually. <laughs> All right, uh, 255 R20s, there we go. Man, it's almost like work. Yeah, I do play Fortnite uh, a bunch. I don't play like every day or anything, but. All right, let's get these balanced. I probably should have been balancing these along the way. Still have to do the exhaust system on this also. Next death machine has to be more inventive. <laughs> but I didn't do it on purpose. It was like totally accidental. <laughs> I claim no brilliance. It was a uh, pure stupidity. But I fixed there more the second time. Well, that's not really the point. <laughs> if you're Pretty much what you're describing is fraud. So uh, good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> Remind me never to go to your shop. My goodness. Uh, yeah, these ones. It's like totally accidental. It was. I'd say it's, it was serendipitous, except it wasn't a positive thing, and that <laughs> serendipity is usually a good thing. So. Nike or Under Armour? I'd go with Under Armour. Uh, it's choice. Of, wait a minute. I made my choice to be Fortnite. <laughs> okay, we have wheels. Let's get these on the car. Uh, and then I gotta get the exhaust taken care of. All right. So this one here, we're gonna need the three twenty fives. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. 
Hey, Ryan, thanks for listening. 225s, there we go. Whoops. Ah, oh, stupid mouse. Messed up my pattern. Didn't do a star pattern. Messed it up. All right, one more wheel, and then we got... This thing can actually roll now. I don't think this car has a fuel tank, though, which is a little weird. I guess maybe it's just they made it part of the body. It's like a, like the it's kind of a drum thing in the back. Okay, so... What do we have exhaust-wise on this to do? I guess... Actually, it doesn't look like there's any exhaust we have to put on this. No, there isn't. So... Oh, we need a starter, though. <laughs> car might, might need it to start. What's my job? Uh, I work for a business doing business optimization stuff. A lot of lean process work. Six Sigma. Efficiency. Don't forget the front shocks. Ooh, right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and now I just forgot what I was looking for. Oh, a starter. Get a Stata V8. Yeah, Caitlin's super excited for the test drive. She's like, I can't wait till you get that car out there and do a test drive. It'll be amazing. Pretty much, pretty sure she hates me when I play this game. All right, there we go. One more shock, and then we're ready for the body. I think all the mechanical components should be in the car now. It's actually starting to look like a car. Now we can just get the body on it. We'll be all done. <laughs> yeah, don't need a starter. Yeah, we'll just roll it down a hill. Give it a little roll start. All right, let's see what we managed to fix of the body here. So the front end. That's a very strange looking image, but it, it did get fixed. Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Headlight. Ooh, fix that too. It's weird. Normally you can't fix the headlights, but apparently I did. Oh, okay. That's what's the deal with the exhaust. Okay, so they actually have it as like body pieces on here instead. They made it the fenders. Put the hood on here. I don't have doors. All right. Um... I gotta figure out what parts I didn't have. I know I had the trunk. Our fancy Hot Wheels trunk in there. Right tail light I didn't have, but I did have a left tail light. That's fixed. Good. Good. Uh, let's put the oil. You know what? While I'm thinking, I'm gonna put oil in the engine because I forget every time if I don't. Right in here. No. There. There we go. Look at that. I remembered. See that? Ha. You see, I can't remember. It only took 20 cars. <laughs> oh, and I just... Durgan, I just see you saying ask whether I put the oil in. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. Okay. Put the hood down. That's a really... It looks really weird, that color. It's so strange. Uh, I'm going to need parts. What are my parts? Hopefully the body parts are in here. Okay, this is the bone shaker. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Oh, look at those doors. Those are cool. Left front door. We got the fender pieces, even though they're not fenders. Uh, trunk we have... Alright, that's it. Not very much body part-wise. Uh, nice. It's a little two-tone, but it does look good. Oh, no. What happened there? Fender. Door. I think I might be done. Global body condition. 70 oh, I haven't done the interior yet. Uh, we got to send this over by the lift. Or by a door, though, because we can't do it on the lift. Oh, I forgot one of the taillights. You're right. Thank you. Might need the right-hand one. Maybe. Possibly. Uh... Left tail light, right tail light. There we go. No. There. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need an interior. Man, this is not the car you want to drive in the rain. <laughs> Can't even close the top on it. Okay, we're gonna need a steering wheel and seats, I guess. Actually, let me just double check here what it's calling for. So it's looking for two seats and the steering wheel. Uh, I did get the right tail light, yeah. 
Saw your channel here recently and I'm loving it. I'm sub too. Well, thanks, Super Cooper. I'm glad you like it. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate the sub. What's my favorite football team? Uh, I like the, uh, the New England Patriots. In part because our office is down there and they just have to be a good team. Right till it, right till it, right. Yep. Sweet. All right. I need to get out of here so I can go into the shop. Let's get a steering wheel. Steering wheel. Body tuning shop. You know what? I should look in here and see whether they have anything. Probably not. Nope. Definitely not. But let's go to the interiors. We'll look up some seats here. We need, uh... Well, we need a steering wheel, too. What kind of steering wheel should we put in this thing? I feel like the... This is like an appropriate one for the chain steering wheel. This car is just crazy. Hello in Greece. Lefteris Planus. That's your favorite? Yeah. Awesome. And never, see, when it comes to talking with football teams, I never know when we're going to catch heat because <laughs> the, the, the uh, Patriots are a little bit controversial. Uh, okay, so we need seats. Uh... I think it was just this kind of a seat. Nothing fancy. Okay, we got in here, do a little assembly. Yeah, that's what I want. Go there, right seat letter D, and then we'll throw in the chain steering wheel. It's not the same one that I took out, because it was actually, uh, I don't know, one of these other steering wheels I took out. But we're gonna put the chain one in. Just seems appropriate for this car. I don't know. All right, that's it. All fixed up now. Now here comes the uh, here comes the moment of truth. When we take this thing into the shop to paint it, are we gonna have access to delivery? Because I don't know whether it's gonna work or not. It's definitely. I checked the the file on the computer, and it's definitely in there. But when I was trying to do this in like the showroom, it wouldn't let me put delivery on it, and that was kind of a pain. All right, so let's go with uh, matte black color. That's cool. Come on, come on. Oh! I don't know why that's not working. The livery is definitely in there, but I can't pick it, and it does not look the same without it. This is a super cool car, and the livery for it is awesome. And it's not even accessible. That really stinks. Well, doesn't that just bite? Oh, wait, let's put this thing on the dyno and see what happens. I mean, it still looks cool. It just, it would look so much better with that cool, uh, cool paint job and everything. All right, what time does your stream start tomorrow? So my streams generally start at 10 p.m. Eastern time. So tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern, a little bit of Don't Starve. I'll do the same thing on Friday. Once they ultimately figure out what we're going to play. Oh, that's loud. All right. That is one loud car. <laughs> Well, we get this out of the track, I might have to turn down the uh, the volume on the stream a little bit. So look, it even has the paint job here in the picture for the car. It just, I don't have access to the livery to put it on here. That's kind of frustrating. Gain loss, 79% gain in uh, in horsepower, and then in torque, 77.82%. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's take this out to a track and go for a spin. Sorry, Caitlin, but we're going to drive this thing. Uh, I think we'll go to... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, i got to open the door and get in it. That's what the deal is. And then in here we go to track. There we go. Uh, we don't want the off-road track. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't do good things for us. Been an airport. Uh, let's go to the racetrack. Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Hi, Spring Blogger. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Kazi. Found a bright purple DB5. <laughs> That's interesting. Love the charger. Yeah, the charger turned out sweet. I actually ended up doing it twice. Okay, I gotta turn the volume down. This is crazy loud. Sorry, hold on. It's still loud, but it should be a little bit more manageable now. 
accelerate to start. Look at that. It would look so much better with the with the, uh, the delivery on it, but... Uh, what am I going to do? I need to figure out why that's not working and see if I can fix it up. Oh, this is going to be loud. Right into a wall. Hold on. I need to change my camera angle here a bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, this thing handles so bad. <laughs> I think this thing needs bigger tires. It's got too much power. All right, I'm going to take this into a different track. This thing is not going to go around corners very well. As soon as I step on the gas and it starts to move, the front wheels slide to the side. So I'm not even having to turn the wheel and it's actually pitching over. It's awful. <laughs> it handles like it was like a pile of junk, to be honest. <laughs> I think I need some different tires. So I'm going to take this out to the airport strip, I think, instead, and we'll try spinning it around there. Are right, you off for the night, Vassal? Thanks for coming out to the stream. I appreciate that. All right, let's try that again. Uh, let's head out to the abandoned airport so I can just kind of cut it loose and I don't have to worry about trying to go around corners and stuff. Does anyone like EA games? I don't know that anyone's really other fan at the moment. The worst part is they make some fantastic stuff. Just it's overshadowed by their policies. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even get this thing up to top speed because the front tires just slide so much. Even when I try to nurse it. <laughs> Hi, Darren White. Thanks for coming to the stream. Oh my god, this is so loud in my ears. I turned it down for the stream, but it's not any quieter in my ears. Oh, come on. Drive straight. Alright, well, it's a super cool car. I do like the way it looks, though it would look much better with all the flames and stuff on it. Um, but as far as driving it, this thing's awful. <laughs> it's just terrible. As soon as you step on the gas, the uh, the torque from the back of it just spins the whole thing around. The wheels on the front are actually too small. They're cool stylized-wise, but they just don't do anything for traction, so you're pretty much... I mean, when you're driving with a keyboard too, like it's, unless you're just tapping the, the acceleration like this... Then as soon as you hold the acceleration down, it just cranks it full full bore and everything spins out. <laughs> it's cramming speed. <laughs> Alright, let's take this back to the shop. That turned out pretty good, I think. I should take a look and see what the sell price on it is. Hi, Blue Jay. How are you? Hello, everyone who joined in the last few minutes that I was peeling around and couldn't hear anything. This game is deafening when you're, when you're racing the car around. I turned this, the audio way down. I imagine it was probably still loud for you, but like in my ears, I think I'm deaf now. The engine is just, it just roars. All right, that's in the dyno. I'm going to send it out to the garage after we check out the pricing on it. And then we have a little bit of time left on the stream, so maybe we'll go to the junkyard and poke around and see if we can find something else that we can uh, work on maybe next time. All right, so uh, what happened there? That's not what I want. 
All right, so card value all told, one hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. I think when I bought it, it was thirty-five or forty thousand. So nothing too crazy. We got a fairly reasonable profit off it actually, but it's always a little iffy on the mod cars. Some of them just sell for crazy amounts of money. Like I, I uh, ended up selling the um, uh, the NASCAR that I redid, and it was like eight hundred thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. But <laughs> it's not my fault, Caitlin. Like, as soon as you step on the gas, it just it slides all over the place and spins out. Oh, so crazy. Hi, Mad Max, St. Aaron, Robert Benfield. Welcome. X-Pod. Welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, I'm not going to sell this, but we're going to send this boat to the garage because I want to get that livery working on this thing. Um, parking. There we go. Let's go to the junkyard and see what, what other cool stuff we can find. I'd like to find some more Jeeps. I have the Willy Civilian that I can do. I've done the military one already. But I think there are still... Uh, there's still like one or two other types of Jeeps that I haven't gotten yet. Am I going to play Fortnite Battle Royale sometime? Yep, I definitely am. I've been actually been playing a, b a bit with uh, Kazi on his stream. And he's going to be streaming after this. Um, hold on a second. I'll, I'll, I'll get, put, put his link in here so you know what it is. But I think he's going to be streaming some... Um, some Fortnite Battle Royale afterwards. Uh, and I'm, I've been playing a little bit on my own, trying to get to another solo victory that I can throw up a video for, but I'm having a bit of a drought. So like everything I do is wrong these days. I'm getting all the way down to the end and then getting getting nailed. Oh, we got another stock car out here. Uh, which one is this? Chevy SS NASCAR. I think I already did the Chevy, so I'm not going to grab that. We already have one of these in the garage. Still haven't done it yet, but we have it. I think the reason I haven't worked on it is because it doesn't look bad enough. Maybe I should buy one that's like really messed up. Hello, Down Under. There's a lot of people from uh, from Australia that end up on these streams. Ooh, what do we have here? The Toyota Camry NASCAR. $195,000 to buy this one. <laughs> I'm going to buy it just because I don't have it yet, and I haven't done it. We'll send that off to the garage. Oh, I meant to send it to the parking, actually. Whatever. What else have we got? I've still been trying to find this little, uh... Oh my gosh, do you have any idea how many times I've come out to the junkyard looking for this thing? Ferrari 250 GT Berlin Berlinetta. So this is a mod that I downloaded, I want to say like a month ago. And I've been out to the junkyard probably 15 or 20 times looking for this car, and it was nowhere to be found, and then now, randomly, here it is. <laughs> I'm totally buying this thing. 175000 Ugh. Send that off to parking. I think that'll probably be the next one that I work on, because I wanted to do it before, and I just couldn't find the darn thing. Oh, this, looks like, this is a pretty car right here. The Salem Flamo, the Pinto, known for catching fire. I think this is why they call it the Flamo. Sweet. Man, I'm really really happy we found that Ferrari. I've been looking for that forever. Well, it feels like forever anyway. Good deal. So I got two more cars I could work on. Get an ugly car and make it as good as you possibly can. Well, they're all kind of ugly in the junkyard. It's really crazy. <laughs> Hi, Darren White. Crazy. It does what every time. You can buy a car for parts. Uh, yeah, you kind of do that, I guess. So this is the uh, this is the NASCAR that I grabbed. I'm gonna send this to the garage though. I actually didn't mean to send it in here. Send that up to parking. I probably should have left the Ferrari in here because that's what I'm gonna work on next. I think. Uh, where did it end up? There it is. I it, I'm telling you, it's at least 15 or 20 times I've gone out there. Looking for this little car, and it's finally shown up. Thank goodness. I actually, for I thought that maybe there was a problem with the uh, with the mod, and it just wasn't working. But you found it for an hour after you downloaded it. That stinks. I, I don't like. I said I don't know how many times. It's got to be at least fifteen or twenty, and it just it would not show up for me. So I'm glad it's finally there. I thought the I honestly thought the mod was broken. This is the other Jeep that I grabbed. Uh, so this is the Willy Civilian. It's basically this very, very similar to the military version. Uh, so I kind of want to find some other Jeeps because that one is uh, really similar to the one we've already worked on. Oh, 
One that would be ugly without the rust. Well, I don't know how you would make a car that... In this game, I don't know how you would make a car that's ugly, not ugly. Because you can't really, like, modify the body and stuff. I mean, I guess uh, I guess the uh, the Ford Pinto would be ugly. That might qualify. Wow, there's a huge lag on uh, the stream and Twitch by the looks of it. So weird. That Chevy had Mad Max sort of look to it. It kind of. I guess I think it's all the rust. There's almost nothing left of the engine in here. The body's in wonderful shape. What's the condition of this thing? I didn't even notice. Three hundred forty-eight thousand kilometers. The body's at 8%. Interior's at 100%. How is that even possible? <laughs> is that why I paid so much for this thing? It's It says the interior's 100%, but it's missing a driver's seat. How does that work exactly? I guess maybe the... Well, the seats are part of the... Okay, it's just clean. Somebody cleaned it in the junkyard because they just thought it would look nicer. And then they charged me a whole lot more for it. They're like, but look, the interior is clean. It's a good shape. Rotten junkyard. All right, I'm send this over the lift. Should download a Holden mod. Yeah, I mean, if we look at um, so where is the the Steam Workshop here? All right, so this is the Steam Workshop and all the different cars and stuff they have in it. Like I said, there's something like 90 in here right now. These are the most popular ones. Delhaye 1939. This one's kind of crazy. Like fold up hood and everything. It's wacky. Uh, the 1932 Ford is one I'd like to do at some point. Lincoln Continental. This is the bone shaker I grabbed. Bronco. CL9. Oh, there's 97 of them now. The Porsche I already did, so we're not going to do that one, obviously. Toyota Supra, 1994. Shelby GT350. That's kind of cool. Steam page on Twitch. Yeah. Or stream page on Twitch. Yeah. Well, no, the welder fixes the body, but there's like an interior cleaning kit that does the interior. I just don't understand why it was clean while it was in the junkyard. Uh, Nissan Skyline rally car. Oh, there's the Holden here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So the nice part about the Steam Workshop is in order to download this, you just click on subscribe. And then when you're in your library of games, uh, there'll be a thing you can download. I can't do it right now because I'm playing the game, but I'll grab that. And we'll, we'll play around with that maybe another time. How's the lag on the YouTube side? I can't I can't tell because they don't have a display on the YouTube side, but Oh, you know what? Maybe I was just getting thrown off my own my own recording software, which shows basically no lag. Alright, let's uh let's get the body ripped out on this thing. Actually, I don't even know that there's much to take off. Uh, oh we got doors. One door. Trunk's gone. We got a tail light. Ooh, this thing's in good shape. All right, so we're, we're not going to have enough time to get the whole car finished, but we'll start. Uh, we'll get this started anyway, and then uh, I'll finish it maybe next time. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just focus on getting this thing all ripped apart. All right, that's pretty much it for the engine compartment, I think, aside from the engine. Oh, wait, we got to get the radiator out of here. This thing is apparently worth a lot of money once you get it all fixed up. Hi, Officer Moss. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for subbing. Uh, I didn't mean to sit in here. <laughs> Get me out of here. Take the interior out. Come on. What are you doing to me? It's not letting me get into the interior to take the steering wheel out of here. Now we got it. Alright, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna crank this thing up. Get it all ripped out. Oh, you know what? While I'm thinking of it, uh... I've only taken a couple parts out. I'm gonna see. Let me see what I can fix here, and then I'm gonna sell all my junk because my inventory is getting really full. All right, we fixed a couple things there. Sell junk. Yes. Did that even work? No. Ah. All right. So here's the funny, funny little glitch with the game. I have four hundred eighty-eight thousand three hundred eighteen dollars. If I go sell junk. Oh, it doesn't go up anymore. Ah, uh, they must have fixed that. So it used to keep going up and up and up. But it's not even letting me sell all this stuff. This is ridiculous. All 
All right, that's going to be annoying. I'm not going to do that on the stream. Brutal. Brutal. I wish it would just sell all the junk the way it says it is. Now, if I mess with the bone shaker, I finished the bone shaker, actually. We took it out to the track and tried to drive it around, and it was uh, it was tough to handle. <laughs> it just sort of greased all over the place. It's awful. As soon as you step on the gas, the, uh, the acceleration just makes the whole car spin out. It's even worse than the Dodge Charger, and the Dodge Charger was pretty bad for that. I think it needs different wheels. Maybe. It might help anyway. But yeah, we finished with the Bone Shaker, so we have about a half hour left on the stream. Maybe a little less, actually, now. About 25 minutes left on the stream. So I thought we would get started on this Ferrari that I've been hunting for in the junkyard forever. And happened to show up when we were poking around out there today. So this is the Ferrari Berlin Berlinetta. Uh, I bought it for like 179000 in horrible condition. And I'm pretty sure it, when you sell this thing, it sells for like three quarters of a million or something crazy like that. I seem to recall hearing that it was good anyway. Maybe signal that bug to the devs. Yeah. Yeah, I should actually submit something on their page. It looks like they addressed the thing that, that let you just sell the parts over and over again, and you can keep... That's a weird way to take the lug nuts out. Uh, you could just sell the, the sell the junk parts over and over again, and your cash would go up, and the parts would stay in there. So it was like infinite money. It looks like they sell for that. But it still doesn't sell all the parts. All right. Uh, get this ripped out of here. This is fancy old style shocks on it. Just had a sandwich thrown at you. Was it at least a good sandwich? I hope it wasn't like a big heavy sandwich. I think it caused some injury. A little bit of salami in the eye. All right, we got that all pulled apart. Uh, get our drive shaft out of here. Yeah, oddly the the interior was in mint condition on this car. It's so weird. The rest of it is junk. The body condition it was like what eleven percent or something. I don't remember now. Uh, I'm gonna get you know what? I'm gonna take all the clutch and stuff off of here. It just seems weird to take this off while it's on the engine stand. Like literally taking the parts off through the metal of the stand. It's just so weird. Uh, all right, get our shock off of here. Let's just get the wheels off. Yep, Cryptokazi is streaming. He's going to be streaming some Fortnite. Uh, I'm probably going to join him after I finish up to the, finish up with my stream. I'll pop a link to his stream in the in the chat again just before we wrap up. Okay, that's off there. Get some bushings out. Because you can never have enough bushings. They're just like ladders. Never have enough ladders and oxygen not included. Never enough bushings in this game. Why not do this build without repairing parts but just buy all new? Uh, I don't know. I sort of feel like that defeats the purpose of being a mechanic. Isn't it? <laughs> Might as well just go to the... If I was going to do that, wouldn't I just go to the... Uh, go to the salon and buy the car new? I don't know. I kind of like the whole idea of saving a little bit of money fixing the parts. See you, Mad Max. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Yeah, it, that's it too. Like, when you repair the parts, ultimately you, you get them to 100%, which is the same as if you bought them from the shop. But it's also really slow going in and out of that shop all the time to buy parts. As much as you can fix, the, the better, because then you, don't, you just, like, fewer trips to go in there to have to buy stuff. Uh, Kazi's a buddy of mine that I play, that I game with, um, so I've done some collaborations and stuff with him on his channel. He's, uh, he's just new starting out. He's got something like 130 subscribers or something like that, but he's a good friend of mine in real life, and he's got a YouTube channel he started up. 
and I'll probably I'll be uh, I'll actually be going over to his channel to uh, to join his stream after uh, after I finish here. Okay, so we got the uh, got the undercarriage all ripped out. Let's lower this down. We'll get the engine out. Then this over there. Uh, I don't think I had a battery for this. No, I didn't. Got our welder. We can fix the body up. And the interior, I don't even have to clean. It's so weird. I won't complain about saving the money, though, I guess. And weld it. Look at that. It's starting to look like a car now. Except it's got the big rusty thing in the middle of it. Get the engine out of here. That looks better. Oh, look at that. So we've got the logo on the front. Sweet. Uh, a full rebuild, if I if I run through it, uh, I can do it less than an hour. But uh, we're not going to have enough time to fully rebuild this thing. I'll do as much as I can right, right now, and then we'll... Uh, I'm going to call it a wrap at about midnight Eastern time. Okay. Let's just... Uh, can I even take this thing apart the way it is? I guess I can. Is there a timing cover off? No. There we go. It feels weird to do this thing sideways. <laughs> I've never done an engine this way before. Usually I always stand it upright. There we go. Get gears off of here. Camshafts can't come out yet. They've still got the little... Oops. Little caps on them. Those darn camshaft caps. Kazi's channel is uh, Casual AF Gaming. Although I think he's trying to rename it. So he's largely going with Casual Kazi as his, uh, as his handle, but his channel name is still a little bit different. I have him actually linked off of the main, uh, off of my channel. It's like when you're on my, my channel page on the right hand side, there's uh, like recommended channels. I think it's in there. Good night, all who are going to sleep. Good night, Tony Vargas. Thanks for coming up to the stream. Man, there's a lot of little fiddly parts to take off this thing. I wasn't expecting that. Their carburetor off here. Oh, they are. No, it's not. I don't like missing CMS streams. Oh, no. I forgot about the stream. Uh, we've already finished the Bone Shaker, and now we're just working on the Ferrari Berl uh, Berlinetta. Uh, we won't have enough time to finish the, the Ferrari today, but we'll, we'll get it started anyway. The Bone Shaker was pretty cool. Although the livery didn't work. It's kind of really it's driving me nuts. Just, it just doesn't look quite the same without it. What is going on here? I just, oh, I still got the head on this thing. Wow! I'm being spoiled. I'm not used to getting a car in the junkyard that still has the engine head on it. There we go. Now we can get the pistons out. None of these pistons have rod caps. That's interesting. What did they do with them, I wonder? Okay, that's good. Got crankshaft out. Engine block. Done! Let's go see what we can fix. Uh, are you streaming your play with Kazi, or do we watch on his channel? So, uh, you can watch on his channel. I won't be streaming it. I'll probably record it and then just edit it down if we end up with a win. So I can upload the win on my channel. Um, but the stream will be running on Kazi's. Where am I from? I'm from southern Ontario, Canada. Not far from Toronto. Again, a fix-all button there would be amazing. Having to click, like, a hundred times to do all that. With all the noises and stuff, that's yeah, that's not uh, that's not simulation. That's frustration. All right, there's our engine block. I can actually turn this thing. It just feels weird to work on it sideways. Uh, gotta get underneath this thing. There we go. Okay, so I guess uh, we could probably put performance parts in this thing, maybe, possibly. Oh, crankshaft. Didn't fix that. You're from Massachusetts. That's cool. I head down there periodically for work, actually. We have a, our other offices in uh, just outside of Boston. 
Uh, crankshaft. This was an inline six, I think, right? Yeah. That's what it was. Indiana. Which is in the US. Yep, I'm aware. <laughs> Hi, T37 Ant. Yeah, this is a fun game. I, I, you know what I like about it is, is it's just relaxing. Like I can kind of chill out and play it. It's not, it's not a frantic gameplay in any way. Gives me a good chance to chat with people while I'm playing, which is kind of cool. Uh, camshaft inlines. All right, I'm gonna grab two of these. We get our performance camshafts in. I didn't notice what type of carburetor this thing has, but we'll grab a clutch plate, pressure plate. Um, engine head. I want the inline six engine head. We'll grab that. What else should we snag? A flywheel. That'll be good. Fuel filter. Yep. Fuel rail. I don't know if this is. This probably has an ignition coil on it, so I'm gonna grab one of those just in case. Distrib distributor will be good. With the rotor and cap. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. I probably need the inline six one. There we go. Ignition wires, we'll get the inline six wires for that. Piston with Conrod, we'll need six of these. Let's see, what else? Power steering pump. Uh, I probably could use the uh, power steering pump, but we'll see what we do when we get there. Eh, whatever, let's buy it. Save a trip to the store. I didn't see the alternator. I must have missed it. Uh, we'll grab six spark plugs while we're in here. Six six spark plugs. Six spark plugs. Um, what did I miss? I know I missed something. Alternator. There we go. Okay, so we're also going to need rod caps. Uh, we're going to need piston rings. Grab six of these. I am gonna make make a butter not buying the bearings this time because I'm sure I have some. And uh, that'll give us a good start anyway. A little rod cap in there, nice. I do like I do like how nice the engines look when you get them all finished up. There's just something about taking something that's a complete rust bucket and just transforming it. My uncle used to do a lot of uh, a lot of old-fashioned cars. He had like a Model A, a Model T, um, and he would he would find them in like farmers' fields and stuff. There was just like a little bit of rusted metal practically. There was almost nothing left of the cars, and he would bring them back to his shop and completely restore them, which is really kind of cool. It's a skill set I kind of wish I had, but I don't. But he had some really, really nice cars. Yeah, sorry, I don't do shoutouts and stuff. It's not really my thing. Um, Kazi's a close personal friend of mine, so it's a little bit of a little bit different scenario. We kind of work together a lot on stuff related to YouTube, um, but I, I don't normally do shoutouts. All right, two more pistons I think we gotta put in here. Wait a minute. Did I already put that piston in? I guess I must have. One more piston in, nice. For some reason I started at one end and then continued on the other end. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, alternator, that's good. We have the performance one we can put in here. I'm gonna wind up with a whole bunch of like random radiators because I Water pump. Uh, I did not get that. How does steam work, though? Steam. You mean like the, uh, in terms of like games and stuff? It's basically just a platform that lets you buy games digitally and download them and then you can play them. Uh, so I need an inline six oil pan. There we go. I might as well get an oil filter while we're at it. Uh, oil filter inline six. There we go. I think there's a performance water pump. Is there? For an inline six? Maybe. Uh, 
Wait, I think I looked at it. It was the... Oh, no, it was the power steering pump I looked at. Um, throttle, turbocharger. I don't think there is a water pump. No water pump. Nope. Is it free? Well, the, the platform for Steam is free, but the games themselves are not. You have to you have to buy the games. You can get uh, Steam download codes sometimes for games that will let you get... To, so, for example, like if you wanted to play... Well, uh, Fortnite's not actually on Steam. It's, it's got its own launching platform. But uh, there are games that you can get uh, free like download codes and you can unlock the, the, uh, the game with the code. But otherwise, you uh, the platform itself is free, and you just pay for the games that you want to download, unless you're getting free ones, and then you you launch them through the Steam application. Got our performance engine head, nice. It's kind of nice we don't have to do gaskets in this game. That'd be kind of frustrating to have to put those on everything. Okay, we have the fuel filter I grabbed already. Another performance part there. We're going to need a bunch of carburetors. Oh, we should have these in performance parts, I think. There we are. I need three of them. Should do the Hot Wheels Twin Turbo mod. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I'll have to look that one up. The ball checker was pretty cool. It just handled like... It was just handled like garbage. <laughs> like... I, I wouldn't want to try to race that thing, actually. This is terrible. <laughs> what PC do I have? I have... Uh, oops, I grabbed the wrong grabbed the wrong part there. Uh, I have an Omen... Uh, an HP Omen PC. It's a their gaming line. Um, this one is uh, an i7-6700. And it has an NVIDIA 960 card in it. So it's not it's not really like their top-end model. I, I, at some point in the future, I would like to upgrade it and get something that's uh, a little bit higher end, a little more power. Uh, but for now, this one's been actually doing a really good job for me. I had a potato for a computer before. Camshaft caps. Oh, I need a whole bunch of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need 14 of them. Weird. Camshaft cap. Where are we here? Uh, Camshaft cap. Inline six. I need 14 of these things crazy yeah so the, uh, the the computer i have now has actually been doing a really good job for me i uh i had an older computer it must have been it must have been pushing 10 years old <laughs> and it uh it did the job i made it work for about two years while i was doing some youtube stuff but it took a really long time to render videos i couldn't really do pc and gaming and stuff on it uh because it just didn't have the performance requirements for most of the games that i wanted to play so i ended up buying this last january and it's been a great computer for me it's uh does a really nice job rendering. It's nice and fast. I've been able to play everything I want to. So yeah, it's been good. But again, I, I, at some point, just because I, I, I want to have an, something that's more powerful, I probably will upgrade it. I might even consider another Omen PC, because this one's been really reliable. Except that I know that you can you can generally build your own, com your own computer for a lower cost. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm faster to get pulled over. <laughs> That's right. Red makes things go faster. It's the law. If you ever want, I can build you a really good one. If you want, I'm good at that. Well, I appreciate the offer. Uh, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really in a big rush for it just yet because this one's been been doing a really good job for me. But get five HP stickers and sticker bomb car. That's a little bit of horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of little fiddly parts to put on this engine. Uh, here's our spark... Uh, down to the spark plugs now. At least I don't have to do all the, the, the push rods and rockers this time. Okay, that's all good. I think... I need some gears here. Cam gears, I6. And... Oh, actually, I might have a water pump. No, I don't. I don't have a water pump. Let's see, inline six water pump. There we go. Cam gears. If I, my keyboard will work. Let's, there we go. Need two of those. 
How much does this game cost? It's pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks, I think. I think that's what it costs. I, I, I bought it in the... I bought it when it first came out in August, and I, I think it was twenty dollars. I'm not hundred percent on that, but I, I think that's what it was. Oh, I need a timing chain. Timing chain in line six. There we go. You're on a potato laptop. Yeah, it kind of stinks, right? Like the worst part is like, and everything kind of assumes now when you're when you're using the internet or using any kind of software that you're using a computer that's going to have a reasonable reasonable amount of performance, but Sometimes it's just not true. Yeah, it's really just about consistency. I, I, I can't stress the consistency enough. Even with my channel, I'm not consistent enough. I mean, I, I stream pretty regularly, and I, I regularly have videos going up, but I don't have a, like, a consistent pattern. The more consistent you can make it, the easier it is. This game went great when I was 18 and didn't really understand the components of an engine. Yeah, it actually... It, it doesn't have everything, though. Like, you don't see any of the gaskets... Uh, you're not dealing with any of the lines. There's limited electronics and stuff in it, so it's just like uh, for like broader pieces, like where's the alternator located, where's the starter, uh, what you know, the engine block and the headers and all that kind of stuff. I think, um, yeah, from that from that side of it, probably it would be good that way. Uh, but it's obviously not. It's still a game. It's not intended to be like 100% accurate to the way that it is when you're working on a real car. I think that would probably kill the fun of it. And I just put the wrong rotor on there. Let's get that out of there. Need the performance rotor. Or was it the right rotor? No, no. Okay, I did put the wrong one. There we go. Uh, we need a water pump pulley and a camshaft pulley. Let's see. Water pump pulley... Camshaft pulley in line six. Got Windows XP desktop. I can't use it because it's so slow. So we need to get a... P yeah. The thing is with like all the newer versions of Windows, obviously you want to have a computer that's capable of running it. I mean, I got by for the longest time. What I was doing was um, I would record onto a laptop that I had that was slightly more powerful than the desktop that I had, though not much. And then I would use... Um, I would use a, an external hard drive to transfer the files onto the drive. Don't forget the clips. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I completely would have. Um, I transferred it onto a hard onto a, an external drive that I would then put to my desktop computer, where I would do my editing and rendering and uploading. So it was really kind of a it was really kind of a hassle process. I was doing too many steps, consumed so much time with like excess file transferring that I didn't really want to have to do all the time. So I finally bit the bullet and bought a new computer, and it's been. It was been a good event, a very good investment. I I can't complain about it at all. Super time built B. Uh, let's see, super time built B in line six, and I might as well get the A while we're at it. Super time built A in line six. There we go. Attention, we'll be back together in no time. Okay, what else have we got left here? So we need engine head covers for the inline six. Where are we? There we go. Looking good. This car's gonna be fancy. Hopefully this one handles good. I've had very few cars that I've that have reassembled in this game that had had nice handling. The Shelby Cobra was was actually pretty good. Right up until the point where we crashed it and flew off the racetrack. It was super cool, but it, uh, it was a little wacky, too. Uh, all right, so round air filter side draft. I, there are some performance air filters. I should check those. Just not the ones I need, naturally. Oh, then again. There we go. Hey, Grub, it's after midnight. Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. I'll finish doing the engine here. We'll get it back in the car, and then we'll call it a wrap for tonight. Engine's almost finished. Okay, I think... Uh, it's funny there's no... It's not giving me the option to, to put a manifold on the side of this thing. I wonder if it's because of it's because it's a mod. 
But it looks like the engine otherwise is pretty much finished here. We'll get this off the uh, off the stand. Uh, take that, thank you. We'll get it back in the car. Get rid of our engine crane. All right, there we go. So still a lot to do on the car. We have all the uh, all the undercarriage and suspension, all that. A uh, little bit left to do in the engine compartment. Put on all the uh, the the clutches and everything. Get our gearbox all assembled, all the body and stuff. It's gonna look really sweet when it's finished. I've, I've like I said, I've been hunting for this car forever in the in the junkyard, and I'm so glad we finally found one. It was nice to put it together, but we have run out of time for tonight. We're right around midnight Eastern time. That's the only way to wrap up. But thanks everyone for coming to check out the stream. I appreciate all of you hanging out and chatting with me. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, then consider clicking on that subscribe button. Come back and check out another stream or some more videos. I'm going to be jumping over to Kazi's stream after this. Uh, and I'll post the link to his uh, to his channel in the, the chat if you want to come and check it out. We're going to play a little bit of Fortnite Battle Royale. We're going to do some duos. Get our butts kicked a little bit because we are definitely not professionals of that game. But uh, thanks again everyone for coming out. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.